We're at Halter Technology Centre. Now, we've learned loads about their robot arms, but Rick, I want to tell you, well, I'd like you to tell me, why would you actually invest in one? Uh, first of all, thank you for coming to the Halter Technology Centre in Asia, of course. Uh, why would you invest in, uh, in automation, especially our automation? It's uh, actually one of the new waves in automation. So there are eight strong reasons why to invest. First of all, is the increasing lack of workforce yeah. we encounter now in Europe, also in England. Well, definitely, yeah, we see that all the time, lack of skilled engineers. Okay, next reason. The next reason would be really the, you know, times have changed. Also, the CNC machine tools business has changed. The, the machines are getting more and more complex. Yeah. Multi-purpose machining, five axis machining, etc. So that means they're rising your investments, but typically the, the spindle hours stay the same. Right. So you would typically invest in our system, in our robot, to increase the spindle hours. Okay, so you've got these expensive machines, so you want them to be running 24 seven, essentially. Exactly, you would try to run 24 seven, and of course, get this lower occupation, yep. rise it up, optimize your spindle hours. I'm working on the shop floor though, as an employee, this yep. robot's coming in, I'm gonna lose my job. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's of course a very traditional view uh, uh, from a CNC operator. Uh, you saw it in the 70s and the 80s, typically, robots flying into a company, you know, people lost their jobs, unfortunately. Uh, that has changed, I mean, everything has changed. So also this type of automation has changed the position of a CNC operator within this company. Right. Um, if you have a typical runtime, uh, cycle time of your product of two or three minutes, the CNC operator would only dedicate his time to loading and unloading. Yeah. Just, you know, be, be, being busy with the chuck. But while well, he's a skilled laborer, he's yeah. an engineer. So what this type of job would be doing the robot, and, after, and of course the engineer is doing what he does best, yeah. programming, etc. So a skilled engineer doing skilled engineering jobs. Exactly. Okay, yeah. I'm investing in this robot arm. I've never used one. Are they, you know, can I program it? How easy is it? That's also something that changed over time. In the past, you would typically have to teach in every new product on your robot, a lot of programming, long time. So with our system, it's already pre-programmed into our software. So the software makes all the calculations for you. Within five minutes, you have a new program set up. Nice and simple, okay. Now I'm thinking these aren't cheap. You know, it's gonna be a big investment. Yes. But what sort of return on investment can I expect to get? Yeah, if you're talking about return on investment, you're quite right. Of course it's an investment. Yeah. Uh, so it's, 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 it's yeah, you have to invest, and with the return on investment, typically for our clients, lays be, be, uh, below the 12 months. Oh. Yeah. So 12 months? As a yes. 12, yeah, less than 12 months. So the return on investment is quick, but yeah. of course, on forehand, even before bringing out an offer, we would, we would sit down together with the client, take his parts, make the calculations, how many hours he could do extra a day. Okay. And a phrase we like to use all the time, that is application specific. Okay, what about, um, say, funding? of these machines yeah well it's of course in the whole of europe the the, the governments they truly and the politic politicians truly understand that we have to optimize our assets yeah. so that's our cc machine tools and our cc operators yeah. so there a lot of funds are now available right okay. especially if you go to the industry 4.0 mm. that's where we come in it's glad to hear that politicians actually understand something as well yeah. so you say industry 4.0 yeah. is that tying with improved strategies for the machine for the um yeah, machine shop if you mean manufacturing yeah. strategies, yeah. it's absolutely, let's say we deliver the hardware to imply, uh, to imply your, uh, your new manufacturing strategies like LEED, QRM, etc. But even TOC, you know, theory of constraints, the smallest bottleneck in your factory can make the whole factory slow. So that's where we come in. Okay. And what about add-ons for this machine? Are they stand? You know, is it standard add-on? Of course, we you know we, we collaborate with most of the machine tool manufacturers, yeah. and what they tell to us that they expect within short that 60 to 65 percent of all new to be delivered machines will have a standard automation as an add-on. Okay. So I'm thinking auto, you know a lot of people think automation parfait, but obviously robot arms is getting more yeah, more, exactly. more visual. Yeah. People are seeing a lot more of it. Yeah. Yeah, also bar feeders will still exist, of course, mm -hmm. but uh, the coexist will uh, be a robot yep. like ours that is very flexible and can also uh, treat one or five uh, pieces as a batch or as a series. So some great points here. So in terms of your robot arm, though, yeah. what makes it different? You know, I hate to use the phrase, but USPs, yeah. what, are, what are they? Give me a few. Uh, well, of course, um, we have a complete plug and play system. Like we just said, within three days, we can have the product up and running at your factory. Okay. And that's on any machine tool? Pretty much. That's on a CNC machine tool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we would of course need the CNC, the controller to communicate, be able to communicate with our robot. Okay. Uh, then again, the, the setup time of a new batch, less than five minutes. Right. That's the second USB. So we, of course, it's very uh, okay. interesting for our clients. Um, where we go, 
into deeper because like a bar feeder, nobody is able to program by itself a bar feeder by hand. It's now the same with the robot. I mean, it's a standard software, 11 questions you have to answer as a CNC operator to have the robot up and running and programmed. Are they easy to move? Uh, they're not only easy to move, because it's good you mention this, because this is a very strong point, because, because you can move the machine to up to four different CNC machines. Oh. So that gives you a lot of flexibility. If you have this rush order coming in, you can have it uh, tr working overnight with another machine. Okay, my machine shop, I'm turning and milling, so can I move this around? Yes, with our load assistant Universal, you can and turn and do milled products. So you can even move it from one machine to another one. Right. Yeah. Okay. For those of you who don't know the whole today, though, is this a reliable robot? Yes, uh, we would certainly say so. That's a very reliable uh, robot. Uh, as you can see, we have a Fanuc robot arm. We have a SIG uh, area scanner for your, for your safety. Um, we have a Siemens controller. Uh, we have a Schunk Gripper. We have Festo pneumatics. And last but not least, our machine is built in collaboration with uh, Fastens. Right, so some great, well-known names in the industry, so you know you're going to get that reliability. So there you are. Rick, thank you very much. Automation made easy. That's Halter CNC Automation at their technology centre.